Hi guys, Johnny Kaplan here with another Gadget Flow unboxing segment in partnership with the Corey Group, an award-winning crowdfunding agency. So today's exciting new product is this Miko 2 Child's Companion Robot. Now, kids' robots are all the new rage these days. Parents looking for their ways for kids to interact with technology, but they're looking for ways that they can learn, they can educate them, they can interact in a beneficial way. And that's exactly what the Miko 2 is. So I like the packaging, I like the handle on top, very easily portable. We're gonna get stuck in and, and open this up. You can see Miko in here. So there you have it. First thing you'll notice is it's a cute looking robot, right? Uh, good size, comes with this nice LCD screen on there. So it's got an operating system that you can uh, actually interact with with voice commands. You can say, hello Miko, and ask him to do certain set commands. Yeah, I, see, I think he's in, he's waking up now. As you can see, his, his eyes are just literally opening up there. Hello Miko. Can you dance for me? Mika can see, it identifies, remembers, and collects known faces, objects, and surroundings. Mika can hear, he understands the voice of your child and neglects the nearby noise. You can connect with Miko too to the parent's cell phone and do video calls and navigate Miko through the house using the camera. Or Miko has autopilot. Miko can roam around the house, avoiding any obstacles that may come. Mimi asked, what did the ocean say when it saw the storm coming? Coco replied, I don't know. Mimi said, it said nothing, it just waved. <laughs> I very easily opened it out of the box, I switched it on, it was powered on within a minute or so, and I'm already interacting with it. Miko's told me a joke, he has a registered bank there of data and jokes and information, and all sorts of things he can scrape off the internet as well, and the, the information that he's pouring out is, is also evolving. Hello Miko. Can you tell me what is the longest river? The longest river is a mile at 6,650 kilometers. Where is the river Nile? The Nile River is located within the borders of Ethiopia, Eritrea, Sudan, and seven more. Well, there you go. I didn't know that even, so I thought it was in Egypt, and I've just learned that it touches seven different countries. So thank you, Miko. Can you tell me the news? Here are your news updates. Today, Christmas is celebrated all across the world. Mika can teach. Parents can select from millions of topics, concepts, and lessons to be delivered conversationally to their child. Could you spell Mississippi? Word Mississippi is spelled as M-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-P-P-I. -S 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 -I -I. Wow. He knows it and he knows it fast. Could you tell me the sum of 10 times 10 times 5 times 6? 3,000. Nice. Who was Pablo Picasso? Pablo Ruiz Picasso was a Spanish painter, sculptor, printmaker, ceramicist, stage designer, poet. So you can actually interact with Miko by touching some of the buttons on his um, front here, on his chest. So for instance, if we press the back button here, we can swipe through the menu here and you see, this is knowledge world, for instance. You can learn facts and things about the world. You have here the settings so that you can go through each of his settings. Um, you have a games hub so you can go in and find out which games you can interact with. Uh, camera, photos, autopilot, um, and then all of the Wi-Fi settings and his router settings, his battery power, to know that he's ready to go and ready to play with. And he has these cute eyes, of course, right? One of the features of these robots today is they need to look friendly, they need to look appealing, and especially this is for, you know, kids aged five and older. Can you sing for me? Miko comes packed with parental controls and safety. Parents can monitor their child's engagement and send them reminders through the parental dashboard accessible on their cell phone. 
So what we're going to do, let's have a look at Miko's Game Hub. Here we go, straight into it. So we have Story Time, we have Story Walker. Animal sounds. There's a great interactive screen here, it's very clear to see what's going on. So it's asking me to choose an animal, so what we'll do is we'll just select... So now he is imitating a bee. Here, boy. Good boy, good boy. All right, so let's try another game. So here we have Story Walker. And I guess this is going to walk and tell me a story at the same time. Much like you would want to put one of your children to sleep at night and read him a nice bedtime story, well, this is a way that Miko can help you with that. This one's called Stranger Danger. Wish me a happy birthday. Miko relates. He communicates and expresses emotion using natural emotive cues from your child. All data pertaining to the child is treated as confidential and never divulged to a third party. It has a knowledge base. You can talk to it, ask it questions that maybe a child doesn't have access to the internet or doesn't know how to type or write, but knows how to speak. And of course, Miko can answer with that knowledge. It's also very entertaining. As you've seen, there are games, there are videos, um, there's things that they can watch on this very clear screen and interact. Of course, Miko can sing to them nursery rhymes and all sorts of things. And of course, he's intuitive. It has AI on board. It has an intelligent learning brain. It comes packed with all this information, but also the ability to evolve and develop and learn and learn about your child's habits, learn about their moods, learn about what they like and what they don't like. It's an early learning device um, and it's designed in such a way. It, it's child friendly. It's very easy to interact with it. And as you can see straight out of the box, I'm already playing with it and it's teaching me things. The Miko 2, an interactive child's robot that enables them to talk, voice commands, AI, learn about the world, dance, sing, play games. I mean, this is a great piece of technology. And not like the technology of our smartphones, which is really just taking away from real life and distracting us from interactions with humans and our families. I highly recommend this, and I think it's a wonderful thing for children. I hope you enjoy playing with this. I hope your children learn from this. Thank you again for watching, guys. Goodbye. Buddy, take care. He'll miss you.